dear students so today we will see how to find the project scheduling and to find the critical path in the project scheduling so since in the world we have different kind of projects like we have a construction projects we have a development projects we have a the software projects um, we have like you know machining projects we have the projects in our uh, in automobile companies we have the projects in marketing sales so we have a lot of projects and uh, they have some certain starting point and deadlines and some of the tasks are depending on another tasks to be completed so as we can see here in this diagram we can see there are certain tasks which needs to be started immediately like for example uh, task a and task b it can be started immediately why because there is no predecessor there is no like you know you can start it uh, immediately these two tasks so you can see there is like uh, no predecessor uh, now we see for c uh, you must complete a so you see over here for c this must be completed that's most important thing for d uh, two tasks needs to be completed like for example a and b must be completed to start d we cannot start d unless and until a and b are completed similarly for e we cannot start unless the d is completed right and similarly for f we need we must complete c and e and then we can start f for g only e is, is remaining okay so and then we can finish our project so the the difference between project and operation is that project has a certain uh, starting time and certain finishing time right so these are few activities in case if you have 100 of activities or tasks or if you have 1000 of your tasks so this uh, per chart is very beneficial to uh, to to keep the track of all the tasks in the project and to and to uh, finish the project in time so in in a project management uh, three most important things we have we have a time we have a cost and we have a scope or sometimes deliverables these are like most important things for the project management to to finish the project in time so since um, uh, to since our purpose is to reduce the cost or to for example our uh, budget is fifty thousand dollars so we need to uh, finish in fifty thousand dollars time is let's suppose we have uh, 40 weeks so we need to finish in a 40 weeks right and the scope is like for example you should not like you know make your scope more um, uh, means that whatever the requirements are you should uh, stick to the requirements so sticking uh, to the requirements is most important thing right okay so now uh, let's see how we uh, how can we find the critical path so if we just like you know calculate all this uh, weeks so it would be like you know total would be like approximately uh, 56 weeks okay if you do it like sequentially one by one but since some uh, some of the tasks are parallel as you can see here like c and d are parallel f and e is parallel so the um, the weeks would be reduced to maybe um, 30 plus minus right so let's see how the things uh, uh, goes further now uh, for this one in the critical path what we have what are the most important thing we have it we need uh, this important important thing uh, like a is an activity okay T is the time duration for the activity, ES is the early start, uh, EF is early finished, and then we have LS means uh, latest start, and LF means latest finish. Right? So these are the important factors, and based on this one, we compute all these uh, boxes. Right? So since uh, from the um, from the uh, beginning, if you see over here, there are like you know different time zones attempts times for the each task for a seven weeks we need to complete it for b we have nine weeks right so if you just like let me spot this for you so for like for example for a seven seven weeks we need for c we need 12 weeks right for b we need nine weeks for f we need six weeks okay for d we need eight weeks for e we need nine weeks right and for g we eight five weeks right so this is like you know how we can uh, combine these uh, this box in this uh, this like you know this chart right so this is how we combine all these two now uh, we will do the forward passing so the step one is complete right in the step two mm, there is a process in the step two and three after completing these two steps so we have the process to uh, complete all these things 
so uh, the first thing the first step is that uh, what how to find this one uh, we have like you know, es and ef so how we find it so as we as i told you that we can easily start the uh, the functions over here if you see over here yeah so we can uh, start the function over here and you can see here that uh, uh, this is early can be start so if we add these two 7 plus 0 so that becomes 7 right okay similarly if we add these two 7 plus 12 okay that becomes 19 right and similarly we can do with all these things right so if you add these two we will get it right okay and uh, if we add these two we will get 9 if we add these two we will get 17 if we add these two we will get 26 and similarly we will add these two will get 31 right now now the question is that how we uh, got this 7 right so the 7 is the mm, is the like you know at the same time we have it this line is the total weeks we we did it right okay now uh, to start let's suppose to start the c so we cannot start directly with the zero we need to wait seven weeks to start the c but for the d uh, as a and b must be completed both so we, we cannot choose seven here but we need to choose nine because both needs to be completed and after nine we can start our work and so, so the total duration will be the early finish would be eight weeks uh, for the for the task eight by self and nine weeks the task taken by the time taken by the B and A together. Now, uh, now this is was the uh, like you know forward pass. So to do the backward pass, so how we do the backward pass? Uh, so the total duration would be like you know you see the last one is 32 and in the G is 31 so we will choose the biggest one 32 because this is the uh, the the time it is it, it has taken to finish the task now we will do the backward pass so backward pass is a bit tricky so you need to focus more here in this one uh, we need to choose this one let us finish first okay so let us finish we pick it from the from the box directly from here we pick it because this is the total time it had total weeks it has taken and we we refer as a mu right so this is the mu value as you can see over here mu 32 it's a greek letter mu and you can uh, have the value from here so what about this 27 so usually what we do it 30 32 minus 5 becomes 27 32 minus 6 become uh, 26 right now uh, since it has this e has a two child child you can see two children uh, like for example uh, f and g right so here is a contest over here so if you see like uh, let me show the contest how the how to uh, compute it like for example this value if i have this 26 is a is the result of the contest between 26 this one and 27 this one since it's a back propagation so in the back propagation we pick the lowest value not the highest this value is is uh, is chosen over here so this is one of the contests okay you might feel another contest here so but the process is normal so 17 is picked from the e to the d right and here also from the f26 uh, is picked to the to the slide because it's a normal it's a one way there is no contest uh, but in case of uh, if you see over here uh, for this one nine okay so we have the contest here so we have like you know two options like you know in the c is 14 and in the d is nine so we will pick the the, the small one the nine right and similarly for the b there is no contest so automatically nine would be taken and with the difference of this time and the um, that uh, lf uh, we can calculate this value so now the, the all the path is is completed but now the question will be arising that how can i uh, find the slack value okay. you can see over here some slacks are zero some slacks are two some seven right and some is one right so in g is one and uh, so how it is found so it's very easy you just need to subtract this value which is uh, 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 ls okay and subtract with this one so 2 minus 0 is 0 is 2 and 9 minus 7 is 2 so it it looks like a magic you see over here similarly in this one 14 minus okay if you see over here 14 minus 7 is uh, 7 and 26 minus 19 is 7 2 right so so this value is like a magical value so if it is not coming the same so it means there is a problem in your in your uh, per chart right so so some now uh, by this process we got different values right 
but we are interested in the, in the slack value where, where it is zero right so what happens when it is zero uh, the most important thing is that because these are the values which are very these are the tasks which are very critical so as a project manager i cannot bear any delay in this task b i cannot bear any delay in the d uh, there is i cannot bear any delay in the e right and i cannot bear any delay in this in this four task right i can be a delay here because there is a slack of seven weeks if it is delayed by seven weeks task c no problem because the overall time and the cost will be a constant uh, and my solution will be optimal and here if you look over here and the slack is two right so if the slack is two uh, so it means i can delay for two weeks right and here i can be a delay for one week right so so there are certain tasks with the slack zero these are uh, considered to be the longest path and the critical path okay so if you see over here so uh, i have chosen the critical path to be uh, to be b d e and f right because the slack is zero and moreover one more interesting thing you can also find that one uh, with this one with the critical path i can also find the mu again uh, if you if i don't have this uh, picture so i can find the mu with this one so b um, took how much time nine okay plus i can do for the d how much time uh eight okay plus uh, for the e how much time i took it nine weeks and for the f it took six right so so 32 right so so mu value you can also find with this one so uh, since we found it by this way uh in the diagrammatically uh and we can also see the diagrammatically this is the mu we have here this is the mu which uh, i showed the greek letter and also i found it through this one okay by by calculating only the b d e f uh, time values so you can see over here b d e f time values from this table so usually uh, this will be given to you in your exam or in any uh, if you are a project manager in any company so this will be given to you or you can like you know plan by yourself if you are a project manager and divide the different tasks as per the stakeholder requirements so see you in the next video thank you